Hello, I'm Dr. Benita Rattan, and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of colour. As you know, I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of colour. Now with us, we can't afford to irritate this skin because once we irritate the skin, whether it's from a scratch, a bite or a burn, it leads to hyperpigmentation. And for us, that literally is our number one cause of anxiety when it comes to our skin. You know, we age well, we don't tend to wrinkle badly, it's hyperpigmentation that really is the biggest stress for us. So really this whole video and this whole channel is dedicated to helping you navigate the skincare world and just empowering you with the knowledge to know what you should buy and what maybe we should avoid. As you know, none of my videos have ever been sponsored and they will never be sponsored. This is not my income stream, this is my love letter for my skin of color family. Now, the one question I ask you on my Instagram over and over again is to tell me which brands you think I'm going to love from all your different countries, because our family is global. There's no point in me just doing brands that you can only find in the UK. It's really not going to help the majority of us. So when I said I was coming uh, to Dubai for Christmas, um, I got I asked you guys in the UAE which brands you wanted me to review and the one that kept coming up over and over again was Bioderma. Um, when I asked my South African family which brands you wanted me to review, the number one brand that kept coming up was Bioderma. So hopefully this one will help uh, quite a lot of people um, and I'm only going to be reviewing the fragrance-free um, products from the line because you know I'm not going to like the ones that have fragrance in them. Fragrance is the number one cause of contact dermatitis. Um, some people love fragrance just for its relaxing properties etc. Um, I'm, I would for example use a fragrance diffuser in my bedroom or and in my house um, just because it is relaxing but I wouldn't put it on my skin. The reason is not only you, it, you get something called delayed contact dermatitis where it doesn't happen immediately it may happen years later and you may think hold on I've been wearing that cream for years surely it can't be that but it is in addition it's a co-sensitizer so it can the other ingredients in that product you can now become sensitized to that you would have been absolutely fine with so in my mind it just doesn't make sense and if you come to my laboratory I'm actually going to do some videos for you in my lab but when you come to my lab you will see that I have different sections in my ingredients room, but there is no fragrance section on purpose. I would never formulate with fragrance. Um, a lot of people do. My parents, for example, from Pharma Clinics, use fragrance and they love it. My dad and I have um, differing views on fragrance in skincare, and he says he loves it, his clients love it, and you know, that's fine for them. In my humble opinion um, I do tend to avoid it just because I feel also just the number of people who watch this channel for me I have to err on the side of caution always you know I think we've had like I think we're up to 15 million views on this channel for example everything I say has to err on the side of caution because for me even one percent of you watching, implementing my practical routine, who may be irritated by something, is can be tens of thousands of people, and I can't have that on my conscience. So for me, I'm always going to err on the side of caution, and I always look to see how can I achieve the results I want to achieve with minimal irritation. And this, I'm hoping, is going to be a question that more of us ask, as this channel grows, as more of you are watching, a lot of you will go to your doctors or dermatologists and say, and teach them what I'm teaching you. And this then filters down into the cosmetics world. Um, so a lot of the brands will contact me and ask me for my opinion on different formulas. And I give it for free, I help for free because Ultimately, we are helping our family globally. Right, so that was really in depth. <laughs> All right, so let's get into Bioderma. If that sounds good to you, please give me a thumbs up.
Okay, so moving on to the first product is their Sensi Bio H2O AR. It's an excellent makeup remover. It's a micellar water. Um, there's no fragrance in it. I love it. Buy it. <laughs> really simple, that one. Next one is Atoderm SOS Spray. Now, this is actually good for people who have irritated, eczema-prone skin, who need to top up hydration during the day, but struggle to do it with cream. Now, the biggest mistake you can make is to not do anything at all. You need to keep preparing that barrier throughout the day because water is constantly evaporating from your skin. You have pollution around you. Um, you have UV around you. You have lots of different irritants around you um, that you do need to protect your skin barrier, specifically if you have eczema. So this product is great in that situation. It is convenient. Um, now the moisturizers and emollients in it include glycerin, it's got isosterol, isosterate and it's got squalane in it. It's got niacinamide as well um, which is great for any erythema. It's got green tea extract which is an anti-inflammatory um, and it's got sunflower seed oil which is a good emollient. So these are all great ingredients. I would still prefer that you wore a moisturizer followed by an occlusive um, to get maximum benefit if you have eczema. But if you can't and you're in that situation where, you know, it's just awkward and impossible for you to be <laughs> creaming your body <laughs> in the middle of the day, I understand that. And this product is definitely worth purchasing. Okay, so the next product that I like is Photoderm Milk. SPF 50. I like the name actually. Um, if you like chemical sunscreens, this is a good one because it's got no alcohol, no fragrance, no irritants. And often it's, it's very hard to find a SPF 50 without alcohol in it. Um, the reason they use alcohol is because short chain alcohols are evaporate quickly. And so it gives you a non-stick feel, a quick dry feel, which is honestly, it's difficult um, to manufacture sunscreen without that. So I've, for example, manufactured the world's first physical sunscreen that's invisible non nanotechnology. And it was very difficult, it took me years to manufacture it, to formulate it without alcohol. So it's tough to find. And when you do find it, just buy it. So I, I do like this product. Um, I do prefer physical SPF 50, as you know, just because you do get more reflection than you do with chemical sunscreen. It doesn't enter the bloodstream, unlike chemical sunscreen. And for those people who have inflammation of the skin, you do get anti-inflammatory um, effects with zinc as well. So for a number of reasons, I do tend to prefer physical over chemical, mm -hmm. but I fully get that it's hard to find a physical sunscreen that doesn't leave a white cast. People find that embarrassing and it does tend to be more expensive. So I am very, very aware of the benefits of chemical. And honestly, if you prefer chemical, wear chemical. I'd rather you wore a chemical sunscreen than none at all. That's not even an option. That's not even you know, a question that should be in your mind. So whichever one you like, I like, go and buy it. So the next product is Mineral Compact SPF 50. It uses titanium dioxide. Now titanium dioxide is not really broad spectrum. It tends to protect you more against UVB rays, B for burning, remember? Um, so it doesn't really protect you against UVA, A for aging. It's okay as a top up, but definitely not on its own. And to be honest, no powder SPF 50 is enough to wear on its own. You really need to wear cream-based sunscreen first and then top up. Say you've got makeup on and it's difficult to wear cream on top, I get, and you wanna just put your brush on top with sunscreen, that's fine. The next one is Photoderm Mineral SPF 50. So number one, I'm really glad this is not nanotechnology because it's hard to find um, sunscreens that aren't nanotechnology. Uh, plus, it doesn't contain any alcohol or fragrance, so they get a lot right. The only downside I'd say is the first ingredient here is Decal Oleate, which is three out of five on the comedogenic scale. So I'd probably avoid if you've got oily acne prone skin. It does leave a wide cast and it is difficult to spread. Those are the only things I would say that are difficult about it. Plus, the only thing with spray is it's tough to know if all the area has been covered. Other than that, it's a good product. And honestly, if you like it and you're gonna wear it, then buy it. 
The next product that I love is Atoderm Intensive Eye. Love it. It's the moisturizer glycerin. It's got sunflower seed oil, which is an emollient, plus it's got ceramides. It's got no alcohol, no fragrance, no irritants. It's great for periorbital eczema, so I'd wear this two to three times a day. I've just today <laughs> made a video for you on periorbital eczema, and I did recommend this product in that video too. So if that's your issue, definitely buy it. Okay, so the next product is Atoderm Lip Balm. I love it. So the occlusive in it is Paraffinum Liquidum. And the emollients here are Cyclopentasiloxane and Parky Butter. It's got no fragrance in it. I love it and I would buy it. Um, just to reiterate, none of my videos have ever been sponsored and they will never be sponsored. These are products that I genuinely love and would buy with my own money and I'd recommend to my Skin of Colour family globally. I really love it when I actually can find you products that you can get a hold of in your country. It's essential. There's no point in me just teaching you about ingredients and then you can't find a product with those ingredients in it. That's very difficult and quite heartbreaking for me. So I'm so happy. I'm so happy <laughs> when they exist and I can say, go and buy it. It just makes me honestly, ah. Oh. <laughs> just so you know i'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video so please do hit that notification bell please do download your free guide the link is down below for skincare for skin of color please follow me on instagram at the hyperpigmentation clinic and skincare by dr v and on tiktok which is dr Mita Ratan. don't forget to ask me any questions that you want down below or any other videos you want me to make for you thank you very much